Hi, it's Rachel. I want to talk about our personal faith journey. Faith is what brings a new truth that comes into our life into our truth. So it's a part of our soul substance. And it's not a new truth in terms of somehow we're creating it. We're becoming aware of absolute truth. So when you're talking about coming into a true knowing of the Heavenly Father, His expression toward us is a combination of love and truth. Okay, those are two inseparable things because truth is what allows love to come through. Okay, because you're acting in truth, so that is what is acting in love. And when you're acting in love, then you're acting in truth. Okay, they are of one substance, but you can see that energy, that powerful attribute of God from those two sides. And as you look at it from those two sides, you gain a much greater understanding. So our faith journey for each one of us is really about learning what those truths are that facilitate and bring in that divine love, His divine love that is far beyond our love. And that is what creates a great humility in your life because we, when we're not one with the Father or and separated from Him, we don't have any of that divine love in, of ourself. It's, it's not possible because that divine love comes from an all-knowing mind, which only God has. We always have a limited mind, a limited perspective. So in order to truly love in any one moment, we have to perceive all our, our situation perfectly. And thus we'll have the right intellect and wisdom to know how to respond. So it's always from the Father, through us, in our soul, and outward. But He becomes such a, a oneness with us. That's what the whole goal is here, is to have an awakening, an awareness of that love of the Father that has always been there for us. And to find a true harmony and peace, because the fact is, is that we're never separate from that love because separation doesn't exist in divine love. Okay, it, there's always unity. But we have to become aware of that. And in that process, we move out of disharmony that is causing in our perceptions, that's in our actions, a separation from that love of God. Although it is always there. It is just our perceived reality that's causing that separation. So learning so that creates a great humility in us to know that you it's not like we have the divine love only of ourselves it is always flowing through the heavenly father for that reason because the all-knowing nature of it because that's how it's perfect for every situation bringing in the perfect truth the perfect wisdom the perfect intellect so on our journey of our soul development of why we're here okay growing and maturing as souls that are individualized and thus able to love because love is always a free will choice so that's the thing that that love of God has always been there but we have to desire and partake and be a part and want to be a part of that love because love is voluntary it never forces itself upon you that's the nature of it okay but it's always there so in our development um, faith is very, very important because that's what takes a new truth that we learn about this absolute truth of this divine love, how it operates, how it flows, what it means. And because it's new to us, it's not yet a part of our soul. It's not a knowing. So we have to learn it first and then start acting on it and living it in our daily lives, okay? In our families, in our work, in our situations, in our choices, in our lifestyle. And as we do that, we see the perfection and the beauty of that truth. We see the divine love that it starts bringing into our life. We see the harmony that is created from walking in that truth, in those spiritual laws, 
created by God. And when we do that, get to a certain point, that truth becomes a knowing. We just know it. You know it's true. So it no longer takes faith because it's a knowing. So it's a being. It's a part of your soul substance. So faith is just the means by which you're taking something that's a new truth to your soul to becoming a part of you. Okay, so because faith is always showing that in your soul there's a little bit of perceived lack. Okay, that's what hope is. So you eventually you want hope and longing and faith to cease because you want to come into a knowing. A knowing of that love because that means you have that oneness, that true oneness now with the Heavenly Father. So that love is flowing through you in perfection. The most important things that we learn are the absolute truths, are the divine truth, the divine love. And when we look at whatever side we come from, whether we're coming from really that love side of what does that love mean, what does it look like, or we're coming from the truth side, it's going to lead to the same understanding because it's all part of the same substance. It's just looking at it from different angles. The truth brings in the love, and the love is what the truth consists of and what its purpose is and what it carries out. And when you walk in that love, you walk in harmony. That's why as you see growing harmony in your life, that's a testimony to the growing love in your life because that's what that divine love creates. That harmony, that peace. The, um, so this faith journey is very individualized. So the things that God teaches me on the new truths are very applicable to my circumstances and my understanding. Now the underlining truth is the same for everyone, but how it's expressed through our circumstances, our situations, our relationships, our personality is different. And that's why we each have to have our own personal faith journey that no one else can walk forward for us because no one because you have your life and your experiences to teach and to learn by and in those experiences God is always wanting to influence you with his love to move you into that the question is are we aware of that love that has always been there for us but that's what you do when you start seeking you start realizing that love has always been there and it's been perfect. It's just that in your faulty perceptions, okay, the lies that you believe, the fear that has plagued your mind, that you haven't been able, been able to see that love. But that's what you start to learn. And then you start to live in that love instead. It's all about a lot. It comes down to our perceptions. That's why having that light of God, that that connection to him, the all-knowing source of perfect love, of perfect truth, and having that communion with him daily is so important because that helps you to start perceiving your reality in the right way. And how you perceive affects everything because that affects how you respond, the words that you say, the decisions that you make. So that perception is very important. So you come into an awareness that of that divine love and you start learning the truths of it. You start walking in those truths. They start becoming your truths. And that changes everything in your life because it's absolutely changing your entire perception. And not only that, but you're coming in harmony with the laws, the spiritual laws of God. And that's creating a very real harmony in your life. That's why when you start walking in faith by these truths as you're learning them, you're going to see the, the truth in them, the power in them, the love in them, the perfection in them, the wisdom in them. And so it's not a difficult thing in that sense. But what it takes is our choosing to walk by that truth once we've learned it. And I'll just end with one example that's good and ubiquitous for all of us in terms of love. And I've mentioned it before, and that's about honor. So this divine love honors 
all, all the time. So in our life, in situations, sometimes there are times that we'll dishonor ourselves, okay, because we want acceptance from someone else. Okay, that's just an example. When, when you have this truth about the honor of divine love in that situation, you're now going to choose to honor yourself instead and pushing through that fear of that you won't be accepted. But once you do, you're going to find a much better place in your spirit, in your soul, because that honor is like life. That's how it feels to your soul. Okay, and not only that, but when you really start honoring you, you can also honor others. Okay, because you can only give what you have. So that's very important to understand that concept of honor, but that's an excellent one where you start learning about faith and this whole faith journey because honor comes up in so many situations and in so many different ways. Okay, that's the choice that you have in a situation to dishonor or to honor. Are you going to dishonor someone by cheating or lying or manipulating? Or are you going to honor them thinking, well, yeah, but I won't have what I need. Okay, well, that's where the faith come in. You have to choose the truth and to honor. And if you honor that truth, then what you need will follow. And that's what you learn as you walk this personal faith journey in your life is that you see that when you walk in accordance to the spiritual laws, that what you have, what you need will be in your life. You will start having more harmony, which is also having the things that you need. So that is a very good starting place to practice your own personal faith journey. Okay, because it's learning and whatever you're learning about, of that divine love and the truth that pushes that divine love into your life, live in those truths. Choose them in the hard situations. Push through those fears by clinging to that truth. That's the faith. And that truth will become yours. It will become a part of your soul and you're going to find a closer and closer unity with the Heavenly Father because you're coming into harmony with who He is.